With the spring here and the summer on the way, I tend to spend a lot of time outdoors and the Wi-Fi signal can be patchy at best because those indoor access points don't reach all the way outdoors. So it can be anywhere from down the back of this shot right here, all the way to the other side down here. And in this video today, I'm gonna show you a product from a company called Alter Labs. This is the AP6 Pro Outdoor. This is the AP6 Pro itself. So it's there's a little bit of weight to it because there's a metal casing on the back of it with a bracket that you can mount. So you have two options. You can clip it to this and then pop this on and you get all the screws and everything you need to get it connected. There's a waterproof cap for your cable at the bottom. So you can go ahead, pop this out. Um, it's actually really nicely put together, this is. Uh, you can take this part out and actually go ahead and split this apart. So even if you have your cable already made, you can still go ahead and use this, which we're gonna do when we go ahead and install this. The PoE Plus port is right at the bottom in here. So there's an ethernet cable just in here. So it's all nicely tightly sealed. There's a reset button on the back if you ever need to reset it. And overall, I think this is quite well built. It is IP68 rated, so it will stand up to the weather quite well. It goes from minus 40 degrees all the way up to 70. It has dual band, so 2.4 and 5 gigahertz in here. The 2x2 MIMO is the 2.4 gigahertz and the 4x4 MIMO is the 5 gigahertz. In terms of throughput, so we have 573 meg, again on the 2.4 gigahertz, we have the lower speed on that spectrum, but we have 5.8 gigabits per second throughput on the 5 gigahertz network. In terms of capacity, you can probably hold up to 350 clients on here, maybe more concurrent connections that is, so you are going to get a reasonable amount. Now the final thing on this is it is omnidirectional, so your access is all the way around, not just limited to the front or back, or and it's not directional. The other main part of this is you can do mesh connectivity. So if you are far away and you need something connecting, you can go ahead and mesh these as they go along to get to where you need to get to. So let's start by installing the bracket and we just pop a screw straight in like so. This on to make sure it's sturdy. There you go, you can see that bracket is sturdy and isn't going anywhere. And then we need to mount the access point on here as well. The next part is getting this mounted on here. So we go ahead and pop this on and you can see the screw holes line up perfectly. And there's four of these that come within. So we can go ahead and just tighten this up just here. You need to put in all four screws in here. So we'll just go ahead and tighten this up. There you go, you can see that's now not going anywhere. What we're gonna do next is waterproof the ethernet connection, and then we're gonna go ahead and slide this up here. So this isn't gonna get damaged in any weather conditions. So I have my ethernet cable here. I'm putting on the rubber gland around it, and then we have this piece that just connects up onto here, and then we go ahead and pop this on too. So let's just get the right length that we need. There you go, that's connected in. So we can go ahead and push this up and along with this and we can go ahead now and and there you go that's now tightened on there and you can just tighten it up and you can feel the seal there's not going to be any water going in there and i can see the light flashing on here now as well which is perfect for those that haven't seen my previous video on alter labs before i have done a tutorial on how to set up the controller there's one thing i'm going to add right now is for those of you that have mentioned in the past that they didn't want a cloud setup you now have a couple of options so the coming soon hardware controller we have seen images out of it already uh, so you can get the hardware controller which includes the software solution with it and we have the downloadable self-hosted version. So you can stick it in a Docker container or however you want to get it hosted. And that has a one-time license fee of $49. For five of you lucky winners, you're going to get to win the one-time license fee for free of charge. So no $49, you can host this wherever you want at home. All you need to do is look down in the description for the steps, but it's just send a simple email saying Alter Labs control key inside wire to shop at linitx.com. Those guys will then send you a license key free of charge. It's available to the first five people that send that email. And if you comment down below once you've sent that email, that would be great. So back to setting this up then. <clears throat> so for back to setting this up, this is the dashboard that's on here. We currently have two network devices. We have the switch that is currently connected to the outdoor AP. So we can go ahead and see that just here. And we have the outside AP as right here so we have the new ap and to get it set up all you literally do is click set up 
and there you go that's come in already and it does say it does uh, it does warn you that there's a device firmware upgrade for these so we're going to go ahead and run that in a second so i'm going to call this uh, garden ap because we're going to be testing this out in the garden and we can go ahead and run that firmware update and you can see just there just like that we are at 2.0 r and that's fully connected so what we're going to do now is quickly jump back outside and do a quick speed test and just to show you on here we have an ssid being broadcasted of alter ap test so we're going to go outside and give that a go and run some speed tests and see how well it works so i'm standing a few meters away from the ap probably actually maybe three to four meters away at this point and i'm going to quickly show you and switch on here i have my wi-fi set up at the moment but the signal is one to two bars and dips in and out so let's go ahead and choose the wi-fi access point so i have one now called on here which is alter ap test so i'm going to go ahead and join that access point and then we're going to go ahead and run a speed test you can see i'm getting a reasonable amount of speeds i'm still getting outside which is more than enough for me 100 megabits per second And then the upload, I'm getting somewhere similar as well. I'm getting about 92 megabits per second. So overall, this is really good for me when I'm out here. So let's jump a little bit further down and see what sort of speed I'm getting from over there. So I'm right on the other side of the garden. And this is probably the furthest point I'm going to be in my garden to get some Wi-Fi signal around this area. So let's go ahead and run that test. I have full bars on here, so I am on a line of sight of this so I can see it quite well and we're getting a similar sort of speed so 90 to 95 megabits per second down and i'm assuming i'm going to get something similar up now do keep in mind that i haven't made any configuration changes on this wi-fi access point to make it more optimized so it is straight the out of box configuration and as a final test i'm on this side of the house so i'm literally on the other side of the access point probably about 20 meters away again still full bars in terms of the iPhone itself. So you can see that on here. I'm getting about 22 milliseconds ping and still 90, that'll probably push to 95 megabits per second in terms of Wi-Fi, in terms of download speed. The upload speed, 50, 60, so it's there or thereabouts. So we're getting reasonably good. So this is perfect for me using it in this space and the other space. Now do keep in mind, as I said earlier, you have the mesh option, which you can actually then tether onto another access point. So if you needed to go even further, you could do that with these access points. I have been really impressed with Ulta Labs and their products. They're releasing them thick and fast. There is more coming later on this year. So do keep your eye out on the channel, like and subscribe. There is a hardware controller coming and there is others in the line as well. This AP itself is perfect and it is an all rounder. It does what I need to do, whether it's getting connectivity out in the garden or meshing it across multiple devices to get to where I need to get to. In terms of speed and throughput, it was working perfectly fine. It does what I need it to do and it will for most cases out there. I hope you found this video useful. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below on this product. For now, this is Inside Wire and I'll see you in the next one.